we, we, we make decisions like that all the time. And, you know, we, we don't ever talk about it. That one, obviously, we had to because it was the night of the fight, and we pulled it. Um, but the one thing, uh, any guy who comes in and works for the UFC and, and, and does what they do for us, we, we got their back, man, whether you're, you're Jeremy Stevens or you're um, Dennis Hallman. And Dennis Hallman hasn't been, you know, you know how I am about guys who've been very loyal to this company. Um, he hasn't been one of those guys right, at all. Right. He said a lot of negative things about us in the past and about the sport. Um, but as a human being, take the whole, you know, this is a business and, I'm the boss and all that crap and throw it right off the table as a human being. I couldn't look at this guy and not pay him his money, you know, and, and let him not fight that night. He had a lot of personal problems, uh, with his family and, uh, he, he was emotionally, uh, unable to fight. He was emotionally unable to fight. So, and, and I sat down and talked with the guy and as a human being, I could not, not pay him his money. Did you pay him both his, uh, his show and his win money? Yeah. That's nuts. It was sixty thousand dollars. Yeah, to not fight. I mean, you know, that's normally a situation where, like, you know, you want to flip out on someone for torpedoing a fight last minute, and you uh, you sent him home with some money and said, uh, "Get your crap together," you know. Yeah. Uh, Dana White's with us. All right, so that's a personal relationship with a guy like Dennis Hallman. Where are you now with John Jones? 